at times you'll come across effects that you like the sound of them, but they're not easy for you to mimic and replicate yourself and or you're maybe not 100% sure what exactly is going on. And so I thought I'd bring in one of those such effects into this course and one that I would define as a space effect, but it certainly has more going on than just being a simple reverb or a simple delay or even maybe a simple saturator. And that's called the dimension expander. And for that, clearly dimension space, it doesn't fit in delay. For me, it doesn't fit into reverb. So I put it in the other category. What I want you to do is listen to this effect and just in your head, try to think about where this would fit based on the things that we've talked about already. So I'm just gonna increase the dry wet as I play this back. turned off. And I could also increase or decrease the size. You're really going to hear this when it's happening. So that's kind of telling me that there's probably some something a little more advanced is going on than meets the eye. And let's put size all the way up to max. So if this was a simple reverb effect, and no reverb effect is simple, so I should probably clarify that, but if this was a reverb effect, when I increase size, I would be expecting there to be some kind of longer reverb tail, but that's not what really happens. The sound just kind of becomes more dense and there adds this sort of depthness to it and a richness to it, which to me is more indicative of a saturation of additional stereo width and maybe a change to a delay time parameter that's going on under the hood. And if we put this on something like the poem and the voice, maybe we can have a better idea for how we would classify and define this sound. My soul, happy friends shall be with you that night my soul happy friends shall be with you that night aha my soul happy friends shall be with you that night so there's definitely a delay going on we can hear it we can hear that repeat but there's more to that. It's coloring the sound in some way. So there also seems to be maybe some component of saturation. Maybe it could be a compression because there is a little bit more density here. Is it actually adding any stereo width? Is it adding stereo content? It sounds like it to me. So maybe there's aspects of a chorus in here or some other modulation effect. Let's find out if we increase the width, if it changes the sound. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. It definitely does. My soul, happy friends shall be with you that night. So the reason I brought this effect into the fold is because I wanted you to realize that some effects are more than kind of meets the eye. This is just has two knobs on it, and yet it's doing something very complicated to the sound. And if you can just understand from kind of a broader perspective how bringing this on is going to impact and change your sound, it helps you make that decision of when it's going to be appropriate to bring it in and to try it on something. And I just think that there is still a part to effect processing and to manipulating your sounds that should be kind of left in a mysterious light because I don't know exactly how this is doing what it's doing. If I was going to try to replicate this, I'd probably end up with six effects and a completely different sound and a totally new effect. And maybe that would be cool. But then again, there are still some things that you just bring them on and they have a certain characteristic that is harder to define and therefore it can be harder to categorize, but we shouldn't just discount those effects because they don't fit into a perfect box.